So how do you turn general form to standard form? Uh, very carefully. So we're going to go with uh, completing the square. Here's again what complete the square looks like. Uh, if you haven't seen this before, uh, you may have seen it taught in different ways where you add something to both sides, but if you don't want to change both sides of the equation at the same time, instead of adding that thing to both sides, you subtract it uh, from the side that you need to subtract it from. So how can we see if these are actually equal? And maybe I made this up. All you need to do is foil this out right here. Carefully foil this out. You're going to get x plus b over 2x plus b over 2x, which is bx, plus b over 2 squared. This will cancel the minus b over 2 squared. You should foil this out for yourself to see that you actually get back to here. So we're going to go general form to standard form. General form, again, good for y-intercept. Standard form, very good for the vertex. So general form, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And we're going to turn to standard form. So here we go. A lot of the same moves as before. And complete the square here. Now it's a little bit weird because b is actually b over a. But all we need to do is think about, well, cutting it in half. And there's our b over, in this case, 2a squared. And what are we doing? Standard form, what does that look like? f of x equals a x minus h squared plus k. All right. So we need to get this out of here. So we're going to distribute the a to both pieces. So we have a x plus b over 2a squared minus, I'm going to distribute the square into every piece here, b squared over 2 squared, a squared, and then multiply by another a, and bring down that plus c. a cancels one of these a squareds. We have b squared over 4a plus c. All right, this is general form. Maybe it doesn't look so pretty, but general form was a x minus h squared plus k. So what are these pieces? k is all this. So k equals negative b squared over 4a plus c. What is h? h is, now the signs are off, so h is negative b over 2a. These right here are called the uh, vertex when you take them together. So vertex is hk, um, which in our case uh, for quadratics is negative b over 2a. Now this looks like a beast to remember. So what I recommend, this is a y value. How do we get y values? Take your x value and f it. Plug it into f. So this is a much more enjoyable way to get the vertex. There's your x-coordinate, there's your y-coordinate. So this is your vertex.